Live. <laughs> AI technology? What? That's yeah, fucking wild. Right. We're speaking Shout through the chat, internet. G- chat GBT for this AI interview. <laughs> Open AI. It's yeah, not us, but... right now, bro. We couldn't get yeah. the real Nathan. <laughs> Neither of us are <laughs> real. Too. Too. We're out. We're out hustling. This is just <laughs> we generated big this. money plays. Yeah, we're getting money. <laughs> Gone. Fuck <laughs> <Like>, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I want to say this is episode thirty. Okay, it's I want to say it is. It might be twenty nine. It might be thirty. <laughs> Sixty nine. But it's an episode. <laughs> and we got oh, uh, yeah. Nathan Trelore. Did I pronounce your last name right? Yeah. And honestly, I wouldn't really have given a shit if you mispronounced it. So word. Better I known as like, super clear. Mister Steez <laughs> Louise. Yo, Angel. what's up? Angel what's barking up, in the back. Yeah, what's nice up, guys? 10 4. We're podcasting. We're, We're fucking casting. Pods. We're fucking casting. <laughs> Welcome back to the Cool Scooter Podcast. Thank you, our loyal 50 viewers. Oh, goodness. Big XRP money Army. moves. XRP Army. I'm an XRP general. Uh, <laughs> a lieutenant. Checked Damn the it. other day. God. Got to get up there. The triple whip. The tri- I got the triple whip and the XRP <laughs> holdings above you. <laughs> um, but fuck man so uh just for people who don't really know i guess just a little intro who you is Yo, how long you've been riding where you're staying uh, i actually started scootering yesterday um, nice <laughs> shit uh, uh my name's nathan uh, i've been scootering for like 11 years uh like half my freaking life uh yeah dude you 22 awesome. Yeah, I'm 27. Yeah, man, scootering is awesome. Scooter Just released too. OC4. Yeah, dude. So fresh if you out, haven't go see that, yes, fresh out the Bizox. If y'all uh haven't seen that, please go watch it. And then you have. I feel like, man, you you've been All slept four. on for a while. You've done some really big things that a lot of people don't know about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like I hear that a lot, but like, yeah, it's it's, it's not that deep. It is not. Just, that is one thing a lot of people got to learn. It's not. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it, does, it doesn't fucking matter, dude. I okay. just do what I do. Yeah. You just come on here all resentful. Nobody's seen my fucking whip rewind on El Toro. Fucking losers, bro. You, you ever so walk, yeah. Do you ever walk through the grocery <laughs> store and you're like, these people don't even know I fucking whip front boarded the Hollywood? <laughs> no, it's funny. Like, uh, like, when I was younger, I was like, I, I've never been a party person, so I'd always like. Have you seen that one name where it's like the dude in the corner? It's like they don't even know my stomach hurts or some stupid shit like that. <laughs> yes. That I was like, I was like that guy when I was super young. I would be like, they don't even know, like I have a life outside of this. Like they don't even know that I'm actually cool. <laughs> that I actually have friends and shit. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, no, nah, never, never like fully like. I don't even know that I've done this. Maybe like actually, maybe if like a skater was at a spot and like he was like actually a sick dude and i was like fuck only he knew yeah but yeah you never should never relate to him like, last eight years well dude i i just noticed this we pieced this together watching oc4 but um do you know you song jack nija what song what do you use <laughs> that meek mill song oh no fucking shot dude no way yeah. that's okay so now that you say that um i would i don't doubt that like that almost makes sense it does. Yeah, that's for like Niger Niger mentality song right there. Like, I fucking hustled. I made it. Suck my balls. We up here. But you yeah, thought no, I was finished. You... Hold on. Wait yeah, a minute. Yeah. Hold up. Oh, wait a minute. Shit. Yeah, but <laughs> it's pretty funny. Y'all also, when that song comes in, both of your guys' opening clips to that song is um on Hollywood as well. But oh, no, fucking, no and, shot, dude. But the no footer is way fucking cooler than Switch Front Thanks, People. Man. Thanks, dude. How does Epic it feel to have the first no footer on Hollywood 16? Oh, dude, I'm jealous. Pretty by the way. <laughs> yeah. MB, the MB dealer, MB dealer, yeah. oh, MBD. No, dude. Um, fun trick, man. Not done enough. For real. Absolutely not. I'm How scared. was the bail, dude? Uh, well, cause okay, so I like bail. Okay, so it sucked. Uh, I like scraped the shit out of my knee. Uh, but dude, I bail because when I jump sets, I like try not to body hop. So I like lift straight up. 
So like when I was doing it the first few times, I was really trying to like pump it, which means front wheel first. Yeah, so like I was just like, losing all my fucking balance and then just fucking up. And then like I think the third one, I like when I hit my knee, I was like, okay, like this is what I'm doing wrong. And then I like went back up there, sent it once with straight up and down. And I like still fucked up, and then I went back up and I like stuck it all the way. Pretty boss under pretty, five T's. Pretty boss moment. Austin, Austin had a pretty good question about Hollywood 16 and which trick was harder. Well, yeah, I was going to ask which one did you fall on more? The whip front board or the no footer? I'm sure, dude. I think, <laughs> I, I think I, dude, I, when I fucking whip front board in Hollywood, I like, I was there with like my skate homies. Dude, there's a whole bunch of shit. Do you guys want to hear like the whole story? Of course. Yeah. Okay, so we were just like fucked around in LA and then like, like oh we're kind of near hollywood and i was like okay like what can i do now in hollywood and then i was like thinking i guess I'd, i'll try whip front board and this was like a day after i did like whip front board on like the seven the down seven that encinitas for like the first time ever i like suck at that trick and then so we get there and like i don't know why but this random like dude was just there and he's like yo bro like are you gonna try something like i'll film it and i like at this point i was already getting ready and bro, like, I took like an at least an hour of run ups. And then, like, I think I had like sent it once or twice. And then, like, by this time, like, the cops are probably already on their way. And this guy bailed. And then, my, like, my other homie who, like, I was with filmed it. And thank fucking God, because this guy, like, was not filming it at all. And also, he was, like, like continuously recording the clip, like, not stopping between run up or tries. So Damn. I think it took me, like, I want to say, like, two, maybe four tries. I didn't even really eat shit. I kind of just, like, whipped maybe, like, f- like you know how you, like, front foot out because you're going back to, like, catch yourself? Yeah. Maybe that once or twice, and then I stuck it all the way. Oh, yeah. Is it more yeah, that's what I, like, got fucking... You got bodied on the no-footer. Yeah, yeah dude, uh, I, I freaking... It's a war. Straight less, to my knees. Less run-up time? Yeah. No, dude, because I was, like, I would always be, like, super nervous about trying tricks back then. Because, like, dude, it was always, like, something I, like, genuinely, like, did not want to do. Like, it was, like, okay, like, I know I can do this, but, like, I really don't feel like it right now. And then I would, like, do run-ups until I eventually forced myself to do it. But the no-footer, like, I wanted to do that. So it, I literally just, like, got up there. I think I jumped it, landed that, and then I sent the no-footer. Oh, yeah. I don't, I think I took, like, one run-up, maybe. Don't even remember. Suss it out. There's always yeah. a good one. I yeah, gotta hit I, one. You can't really do it without one. I think I've done it's ballsy. that once. Yeah, no. It's ballsy to just fucking go for it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just without even knowing what you're going to fly down. Just fucking, yeah, sure. Whatever, dude. Fuck it. True fuck it mentality. Yeah, no, never. I don't think I've ever gone to a spot and not ran up. So, yeah. So that's never happened. Spot etiquette. <laughs> spot Gotta pay etiquette. respect with one. Treat the all. spot with respect, bro. It ain't even about your life. The spot deserves respect. Mm -hmm. If you fucking die, that's what you chose to do. Yeah, exactly. You need to accept it. You can't run up skate park spots, though. Dude, that's what, that's, okay, so that's the only place I've, like, not run up. And it was, like, an 11 rail, but I've done it before, and I, like, didn't run up and, like, just hit it real quick. But that's, like, that's, like, the equivalent of just, like, hitting the everyday flat bar, like, once or twice with that rail. You know what I mean? You don't take a run up on skate park That's girl like, it's, it's perfect you understand yeah, the physics exactly exactly so. Thanks. yeah yeah you've done this shit like a million times plus right it's like it. okay like whatever it's like the same in every park if anyone out there is running up skate parks running up skate park rails stop please Dude, high key Just i think i'd it. like lose my shit if i saw somebody like like running up to a flat bar <laughs> like funny <laughs> funny lose my shit like i would start laughing <laughs> I, I like think that was in their head. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck. Can't do it. It like pans out. It's just like these smallest live artists can <laughs> I think I'd, I'd laugh. I think that would be funny. I think. I think, I think, I think, I think it would be funny. I think as well. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, how is it being in a gifted hater video? Dude. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I, like, knew who he was when I pulled up. Um, like, I feel like he was, like, kind of popping around that time in scootering. 
Yeah. He had like a weird like month or two when like everybody was talking about it, even if you weren't on a skateboard. Yeah. Uh, so I pulled up to South Whittier because my girlfriend went to school in Whittier and I would stay with her and that was close. And I'm there just trying to film Instaclips with like my janky ass tripod water bottle setup. And then I know where I'm like, I think I sent uh, a group chat, like a picture of it. I was like, I'm at South Whittier with gifts and paper. And then they all saw it. And then I'm like filming my Instaclips with this water bottle. And they're like my little business, bro. The guy he was with, uh, like he like like you could kind of tell like he like did not fuck with me being there. Like it was such a strange like encounter, because like I was trying on this like wedge, it's like this weird like bank to ledge, and like this guy was like obviously like kind of going when I was going, and like just being completely oblivious to the fact that I had like a janky ass setup and I was filming Insta clips. And I get it, like they're filming a video, but I'm doing the same exact thing. Um, but yeah, and like, so in one of my clips, I, I could hear the guy, like, he was standing like directly on top of this ledge after I'd been trying in the trick for like 40 minutes. And then, uh, I think Joe is his name, Gifted Painter. He's like, bro, watch out, the screw guy's going. And then he was like still standing there, and you could see him like watching, like walking like very slowly as I roll up. Just like, just like, uh, shit like that. Yeah, dude, um, seems like a decent dude. All right, that's good. At least he defended the. The janky yeah. skate park tripod setup. Uh, a lot of people disregard those. You got to watch out, man. Unless someone puts really? it in a just completely uh, insane spot. I watched somebody set up a skate park tripod on one of the bars on a flat bar at Mueller. Like like about a month ago, Austin. Literally just put it on the flat bar. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like on the flat bar is not really. I know I've done like. Yes. Okay, I've definitely done that. Yeah. <laughs> If no one's there, it's like, all right, I get it. But this was this yeah, park's small and it was packed. Nah, fuck that. If it's packed, like, I won't do it. I, like when I, normally when I film my Insta clips, like I do it like kind of early when it's like warm, you know. So like two people are there and they're probably not riding the things. So good etiquette. Yeah, Res- you gotta be respectful. Mindful. Honestly, I just don't even pay attention. I just go and I just fuck everything up on purpose. <laughs> Worst Crash etiquette and destroy. Ever. <laughs> Soon destroy. destroy destroyers. Uh what was it? Awesome Scooter Incorporated? Something like that. Awesome Scooters Incorporated. Yeah. Bro, I feel like I'd just be saying shit sometimes. Banana <laughs> dog. Put the banana on him. Dog with the banana. Oh, I think it's sick. As as a sick thing. That's a that looks like a crusty banana. No, bro. I bought the yeah. banana on my lunch break from Walmart. Nice, Damn, nice, nice. You gotta stay strapped, Austin. Yeah. You remember yeah, the the good. mandatory pocket Woodward banana I yeah. shoot campers with? Oh yeah, that's just what I was thinking about one time. The homie like Mike Richardi, he was tripping nuts at Woodward, and like that whole day, I was just like making him laugh with like <laughs> shooting campers and shit. He just thought it was hilarious. Constantly Dude. keep a nan in the back pocket. Just pull up on kids, catch them lacking. <laughs> Dude, that's such a Give me your back wheel. Give me everything you got, kid. Give me your fucking that's back it. wheel. <laughs> oh, dude. Well, Scan uh, this QR code. Subscribe <laughs> to ten four. <laughs> Banana the head. They refuse. They just start whacking You're them. Fucked. Um. <laughs> Yo, how long uh, have you and the like OC boys been riding together? Uh, Got a pretty I, solid I crew. Checking the date right now, dude. I don't know. Bro. It was I, like, like 1946 or something. <laughs> Directly after the bombs dropped. Um, <laughs> nah, bro. I fucking so. I definitely knew Angel first because I moved. I used to, I, when I moved back. I was born in California. Moved to Texas for a year. Moved back, moved back, and Angel was like already like the first skate park I went to, or the second. Uh, people like were already like knowing Angel. It was like a weird group that like no longer scooters, and like I haven't heard of them in like you know however the fuck long. But Angel, like him and I, like we didn't really hang out at first because like I was thirteen and like he was you know fifteen, whatever it doesn't matter. But we didn't really hang out like that. Um, but I definitely knew him for a little longer. Fast forward. Um, Ian moved here from New Jersey, and he was at. I met him at the first skate park 
not the second one. Second one is lags. It's the big part. We we met at BB and then bro, like I remember like I used to be like such a little shit growing up, um because I like thought I was like super sick like that like I was just cool, and he was like just this kid who was wearing like hand me downs and, like gym shorts and like running shoes when he was riding scooters and I like didn't like I was like whoa like that's that's fucking strange, but no um that's yeah I bet he have like Nike free runners. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like fucking dude, I don't even I don't even want to say they were like Nike. I had like the off brand, like like Asics. Yeah, the like, fucking Jordan ever did that move. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like those motherfuckers. Like the Jordan's Americans. got a dick on it. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan yeah, has a dick. <laughs> oh hell yeah. I love those but, videos. But off topic, like, we can continue. Who's um, that coming up the peak and roll there, boy? <laughs> yeah, dude. <I did. laughs> Dude, what is that? All right, but Ian McDonald's was Ian good when you first met him? Dude, uh, yeah. So he he was really good at like bar twists and arm twists and just good in general. I remember he was doing like a lot of tricks that I had really never done ever before I even like had known him for like six months. He was just like rapidly progressing, and like he was just taking in so much in California. He just like kind of built himself with all these things but yeah dude kid was just good yeah yeah he's dude he's one of the best i feel like yeah dude his his way of scooting is like exactly like him yeah super like i don't even know like dude he he's like super um does does what's uh whatever whatever's in front of him i i know people describe it as like a like adhd on a scooter but dude he like literally like he tries to make anything work, and I think that's super sick. Yeah, hundred percent. That is a good way to put it. He does just try to hit anything. No, nah, dude, because we'll pull up and like, you know, you normally hit like the like this yay old stretch, stretch the glute, stretch the hands, like the shoulders, the neck. Um, I don't even know if he stretches, but regardless, like I'll just like look up and he's just casually doing the most fucked like fakie to Manny with like every single trick involved. <laughs> within the first five minutes and stopping it. Dude, he makes trick yeah. spamming look good. Dude, he makes a lot of things look good. Damn, well, like what else? <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> I, I heard like, what else? And I was like, yeah, what else, man? <laughs> uh, yeah, what does Ian make look good? Um, He makes button ups look good. Damn right. Damn right, on God. Oh man, well, uh, so was this OC video, was it like the hardest to film, you think, being the fourth one? Dude, uh, not exactly. Um, I do know when we started filming, uh, I think we were all like not prepared at all. <laughs> Cause, yeah. So uh, we started filming like two years ago, I think two, like somewhere above two years. And I had a different camera a few different cameras, a different computer. And we were like just filming as if it were no big deal. And then so over time, like we started stacking clips and they were decent clips. And then my laptop got stolen out of my car and that sucked. I'm plugging my laptop in. I just realized it was unplugged. Where the new laptop. Jacob Bokelman donation. Um, but yeah, so. Oh, yeah, shout out. We lost like six months of footage, and there's a clip that I like still think about. And I like really, I tried to go back for it, but it was just one of those that wasn't meant to be. Um, but yeah, so we lost a lot of footage, Damn. and we did go back for a lot of it. Like, so most of the clips, or there's a good few, a good chunk of like scooter clips in OC4 that were done twice, which is kind of gnarly to me, but that's what happened. Um, what were some yeah, of so them? So Angel's Ender and Logs's Ender, though originally those were both filmed at the same time. Logs went right back for his, and then like I filmed Angel's pretty f- freaking recently. Also, yeah, I just tried to stop myself from swearing. I don't know if that's bad, but no, nah, you can swear. Don't, <laughs> All right, don't hold back. Good. Yeah, it's, good. just be you. Um, just be... What was what were the Enders? Because I don't. Okay, so the feeble, the manual, whip, and then Logs did the feeble bry. Um, which is gnarly because he like, yeah, I don't, I don't even know. That's like, 
insanely crazy to me that he uh, did a feeble out of that ledge because we waxed it that day. Like it had never been touched before, and then made it happen. Uh, yeah. Also, I, I don't know how to bry flip, so well, I do, but I like to suck at them. So I was about to say, you've never done a bry flip. Uh, you know, do toe like side or shit. heel side? It'd be sick, but I like can't. I think. Well, I always like kind of bring it too far up, and then I can never like keep it centered. So it's always like a fucked one to land. You do like s- Superman bry flips. Yeah. 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 And then another one I did, I think it's the end of my second song. It's like a front board drop. And I know, oh, there was like the first, I think that looks his intro, but he like does a line at lags. He redid that. That was like one of the first tricks we redid. He did that shit twice. Like a lot of things, a few, a good chunk, like I said, are done twice. But yeah. That's wild, man. Fucking props to y'all for actually getting it done. Thank you. That's yeah, gonna no. fucking suck. What are yeah, your initial no. thoughts when your laptop Dude. gets snagged? So I was in LA. Like I had like actually one of the clips uh in the friends part, Gannon, he does an AO whip over this like pole thing in LA. And like I always like bring it up when I'm like watching it back with like a homie who might know or something like that. My laptop was probably getting stolen all the time. Um, so that was like the first clip I think besides maybe another one of Frankie that was on a hard drive I had lying around um, but that was the first one I had filmed post laptop stealage but dude I remember I like I was in LA like it was after a weekend staying at Tiwi's house or yeah and then I was like with a, like a shit ton of people there and so I like I think I went back to my car to leave or something I get back to it and I'm like putting my stuff away and I'm like okay like I didn't, I, I didn't notice yet. And I'm like, just out of chance, I'm like, okay, maybe I should look for my laptop. Like, I just want to be sure it's in here. And then, like, maybe I forgot it somewhere. I'm like, not finding it. And then I'm like, in the back seat, and my phone's like a fucking mess at this time because I was a piece of shit and I didn't take care of it. And I, you know, whatever. And I like remember like bending over and like kind of like realizing I see like a bunch of little black dots. I look up and it's just like shattered glass. And I'm like, bro. Like my, I just got goosebumps, but um, yeah, no, it was like the worst feeling ever. I like, I I called Tyler and like everybody kind of came over, and it was like nice, but it was like shattering, right? Like I just lost like all these files, not even like clips that we had filmed, dude. I had like uh like childhood videos of myself and pictures of stuff like that on that computer that I really don't have access to anymore. Just like a lot of things that I would have liked to have. I don't have anymore. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And then, yeah. yeah, I remember like Alex Lopez, they like kinetic fronted me like a Benjamin on the spot. That was sick. Uh, shout out kinetic, shout out Alex Lopez, shout out all those guys. The realist. But yeah. Um, that is some real shit. yeah, man. Well, uh, how, how hard was it to start filming again? Or how long did it take for you to, I'm, I'm assuming it happens and then you just don't want to do anything for about, couple weeks i think it was like i don't really remember very vividly but i remember it not being like a super long time i know it was like super fucking loud. like i was like i think i texted the oc photo chat i was like guys this fucking happened and i didn't have anything backed up and even though i had like a two terabyte hard drive at the time i was just like you know young dumb stupid this is this will never happen to me type shit and of course um i remember it being like less than a week and i just kind of like you know what I mean? It's like that thing, like, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, not film this video? Like, okay. Um, so yeah, we kind of started, and then it, like, at this time, like, when we first started, we were riding, like, every weekend, and, like, a few days as well during the week. Um, but, dude, like, sometime in between, like, everybody just kind of had things going on, and then we kind of, like, didn't become distant, but we, like, definitely did not ride as fucking much, because that shit happens. And I mean, that's, I honestly want to say that's why it took so long, but I mean, you know, shit happens. Yeah. Like I remember like halfway through, I was really trying to like get it out. Like I, I had posted a few times like, oh, hey, like it'll be out in January. Like, oh, hey, it'll be out this or here. And then and I like had a deadline set. I really wanted to release it. And then like, I would always talk to people and then like the people involved and I would like kind of 
like think about it afterwards and like think about the reactions I got, like how like it wasn't necessarily positive, but it also wasn't really necess like negative either. And I would think about that and then I just kinda like decided over I don't really remember. There wasn't a specific point, but I just kinda let it slip and then it just became so much more through that because the second I stopped caring, the more I enjoyed being with the people I'm already with and enjoying scootering and being out with friends, filming, and it wasn't about releasing the video. It was just filming us having fun and what yeah. we do like every time we're together, you know? So, so you, it went from like taking it pretty seriously, trying to put out a project to you're like, all right, fuck it, whatever we can yeah. get. And you actually got to be like, playful with the project which is cool yeah that's that's yeah. sick yeah so, like i enjoyed the process of making it a lot more as soon as i like gave that up because i give me a lot more time to like play with things and kind of like learn things and just try new things filming wise and yeah it was yeah. just it was a nice learning experience especially when like what did we I learn think, yeah right and plus, back like, up the hard it, drive back up the fucking hard drive <laughs> <laughs> also, don't don't keep shit in your car when you're yeah. not in it. And if you absolutely have to, keep it under the seats. And I probably wouldn't do that. But all right, life lessons with ten four. Back up your hard drive. Don't leave shit in your car. We need a fucking air horn right now, dude. Got the cowbell. Back up the hard shit, drive. Dude. Ring 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 ding. ding. <laughs> um. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people have gotten fucked by that filming. But this is America. They got screwed over. Yeah. And it's fucked because, like, I see that shit a lot. Like, dude, just yesterday, I was in Costa Mesa, like, coming to Newport Beach area, which isn't, like, you know, it's not Los Angeles for damn sure, but still, it's risky nonetheless. And I was with Corbin, and I think his homie left his, like, MacBook and, like, two, I think two like nug jugs with nugs inside like directly open sight in the past like that rear past your seat like just cords and all bro like i saw everything and i wasn't even trying um it's it it happens it sucks because like a lot of people like don't realize until it's too late or don't learn the lesson until it's too late and then it's too late and then they learn their lesson yeah oh yeah all right well hopefully that sheds some insight well, okay, when you're refilming it, what are some highlights? What were some fun moments when y'all just weren't giving a shit? Dude, uh, so we, we fucking um, a lot. So there were a few times when we were all together. And, like, especially, like, even throughout, like, filming. Like, Angel was either not there, like, Ian was on trips or something like that. But uh, we went to the hyphy jam. And Logs like, wasn't in any of the group chats at all. And so we had already pl planned on driving up with Corbin, and there wasn't room. And I don't even think, like, I think he knew about it, but he was like, he was like, all right, maybe, like, whatever. But there wasn't room, right? So we fucking were, like, on our way up. We're, like, through the grapevine. We're, like, damn near halfway there. And Logs like, calls us. He's like, should I fucking, like, send it? And he so he sent it. And that whole trip was, like, just the culmination of everything. It was like the most fucking fun I've had in a long time. Oh just yeah, y'all did other things besides the high food jam. Like, what do you mean? Did y'all just go for the high food jam, or did you like stay afterwards? Or I think what made we... it so good. Oh, dude, no, just like, dude, like talking, communicating, like being ourselves with each other. There wasn't like anything specifically like, oh, hey, like we went to the high food jam, dude. Honestly, the high food jam was sick, but it was like not the highlight like I, I, just, I value like time with people that i enjoy being with and i think ip jam was no different yeah i mm -hmm. and i also like am not good at remembering remembering things on the spot so but if i had to tell you the truth it was just being with the people i love and kind of like having fun as i normally do yeah yeah no. fuck yeah yeah those are jams i feel like that's the best part uh, yeah. That's like the main reason to go out to, to a jam or a trip is it really is just the people that you get to you get to hang out with or that you don't you just see people you haven't seen in years Man. and that, that that's where you get reunited with all your little your scooter homies which is always so sick. Dude, it's funny. Um, yeah, no, I completely agree. It's wild because yeah, you don't see those fuckers like ever, and when you do, it's like 
the first time in like six months you know what i mean and it, most of the time it's like normally at the jams but so it's always nice kind of like yeah communicating with people who you like no but you like you're not that close with because you know it's been six months since the last time you hung out but yeah it's really sick because yeah dude, communication in general bro it's awesome it's just really sick those are the those are the highlights of life man you're just yeah, fully dude. in the moment you don't really give yeah, a shit dude. about what happens you're just happy to be there no, it's dude, that's so sick it is. Yeah. yeah it gives a fuck you're, you're there i think about what's going on in the week yeah just fucking live bro just live life dude fucking live bro Fuck, the roses. fuck what's going on outside of my little group of scooter homies yeah. Oh. Yeah. Later, oh, wow positive vibes positive brother. positive Ooh. pack positive yeah. pack baby bar bars <laughs> trying my best dude shit man um dude. what's been up with Gur mondays oh, dude, I, saw somebody for post it. I forget who like like recently like less than a month ago and i was like oh like that was a fucking thing dude yeah i was like yeah. dude that's such like a weird like time in my life what was How the calm. point of it just like uh her nah, dude i don't know getting, bro. I getting was getting ready just, for I, the week i think i like posted it one day and then like do i remember how it started i just like think i posted it and then i don't fucking know dude. i think either i said yo take pictures and say this yeah you had a cult for a minute yeah dude it was weird damn oh yeah dude fuck? i can i can relate to those little instagram areas my mine used to be peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for a little okay, while so i yeah. remember that shit i remember that yeah. shit you know what's funny i fucking love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches i had one too, like, shout out 30 minutes before the show fuck yeah it's been so long i've i've fallen out of the grind but it was it's funny seeing just randoms like post a peanut butter and jelly and tag you just like the Gur Mondays, dude. It's like wild. It's like okay, like yeah, I did that. Like, I started okay. something. I got like fucking yeah. six scooter kids to post PB and J's. I'm famous. What's In up, bro? Army. That's your that's your impact. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Nation. People got posting pictures of sandwiches. PB and J cult in this bitch. Yo, bro. You had the Gur no, Mondays. Did people ever shit. walk up to you and say that shit? Dude, it was like weird. Yeah, like I would always like get like slightly embarrassed when that shit happened. Because dude, it's like it's only sick over your Instagram story, and then you say it out loud, and it's like, oh, that sounds like kind of strange when you speak it like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, good one. I like, dude. Shit, I like forgot that existed at all. Like, you should so... post one next week and see what the response looks like. You just post one like right now. It's like Gur Monday. <laughs> we'll Gur post Monday. the podcast on Monday. Yeah, let me take dude. I'm using my uh okay, so my house has horrible Wi Fi and service. So this is my old phone. My 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 current phone is right there on the fridge. And that's like getting my hotspot and my computer is connected to my hotspot. Lit. Nice. Yeah. He's making it work real for y'all. Guys. Super yeah. important. I can I can kind of tell a little bit. No, it is important. You're phasing through reality in some of these clips. I can hear you perfectly clear, but you just like jump around every once in a while. Danny really? Phantom. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan Gur Monday Phantom. Yes. <laughs> the Gur fan. The Gur fan. The Gur fan. Funny. Um, oh, wow. well, brother, how did you get into scootering? Oh my god, dude. With the fucking slappers. Um, dude, when I was like 9, 10, I started when I was 11, but when I was like 9, 10, 11, maybe, uh, I lived in Corona, California, which is not far from where I live now. Did you say but, Corona? Yeah, Corona, near Riverside, in the Inland Empire, California. Holy Damn. shit. Why, what's up, dude? It just reminds Isn't me of that it? tragedy. Truly tragic, Corona. Yeah. No, nah, dude, it's weird because like when that happened, it was like Corona is a city that is like 15 minutes from me. Damn. But uh, yeah, man. But yeah, so, flex. yeah, flex, my hometown Corona. taking over right now, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm up. <laughs> but, um, 
It would have been a hell of a Monday. <laughs> oh, dude, the longest Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you started in Corona. How did you, uh, how did that, what happened? Just walk us through it. You're 9, 10. Okay, how are you so introduced? My brother had a friend who, like, was kind of scootering at the time. And, like, like the Razer Ultra Pro, like, Black Label type shit. Yeah. My brother only looked for, like, Ultra Pros on. And then I think he found one. And then I was, like, slightly introduced by them. And I already had, like, previous influences. Like, I've seen kids at skate parks doing it as, like, the four-year-old on, like, a BMX bike, just being relentless. Um, But I think I, like, started when I, like, got this, like, weird, like, silver, like, foldable. I don't remember if it was a Razer. But at this time, my brother, like, still scootered, and we had moved to Costa Mesa. And that, I think my brother's friend, like, wasn't, they're, we're not friends anymore, but nothing bad happened. It's just the uh, 12-year-old, like, don't talk, and then all of a sudden, you're really not friends anymore. But um, I think I rode that time to time, and I would, like, try new things. Like, I don't even remember. I didn't really do tricks. I just kind of, like, jumped up and down curves and shit, and then. I think on my birthday, my dad was going to go, like, drive me to this guy's house to buy, like, an ultra print. And I, like, walked into the car, and it was already there. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? And I, like, would jump over the uh, driveway and, like, little box jumps that they had. Yes. And then yes. Uh, went on, it was just, like, fucking, they, okay, like, this is sick. Like, this is what I'm going to do. I And, dude, like, because, like, everything else, it was, like, I, I've never had a good sense of balance on my feet. I've never really been good with my feet. I've never really been very coordinated, but having like handlebars to control yourself and like being able to like push yourself and like having those separated rather than having both things, you know what I mean? Because if you're using like one hand, yeah, yeah, it's easier to focus on for me. So, and especially because you can turn without Mm -hmm. having to use your feet, just made sense. And I would, you know, do that all the fucking time. And then sure enough, 11 years later, I want a podcast with Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> wow. But yeah. You it's fucking crazy. made it. It's <laughs> crazy, Fuck, dude. Bro. Call me Drake, bro. Made it, started from the bottom, bro. <laughs> now we're here, baby. Did they know. <laughs> Shit, dude. Mazel tov. God, yeah, and years damn. later, there'd be no footer in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's used to no footer off curbs, dude. I oh, would say seen now, bro. That's oh my fucking god! Cool I don't want to say I've ever changed. seen one. Fuck, I fucking changed. Bro. Honestly, I think that's why no footers they're so slept on, and they need to come back. Cause that's just that's the childhood trick, dude. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's like one of those that like you can do pretty easily, but you can do it easily. But now that you can actually do things a lot better, and you're more skilled, and like you're taller, and you can jump things, yeah, you can do it a lot better. And I think. That's the cool part. Mm. The growth. Yeah. It's translatable, too. I, I feel like I see anybody get on a lime scooter who doesn't even scooter. They're they're throwing no footers. If I see a junk yeah, motherfucker out out on Sixth Street, they're doing no footers on their lime scooter. Yeah, dude, no they're fucking cruising at twenty three. And then one of those guys see you do a no footer back lip down a handrail. Like yo. All right, that's it. That's what I'm gonna Which do. It's actually line. hard as fuck. That trick yeah. is so hard. No footer back up. Such a good trick. Possible. Though. Such yeah. a good trick. Someone I've never even tried it. I know I've seen Ian do like no footer three sixties. That one's weird. Like fly out. That one's weird because like your your feet aren't on the deck, so like yeah. almost doesn't make sense. Austin's got those. You got no the three sixty no footers. Three sixty those. Yeah. Skilled motherfucker. Yeah, those are a fun one. Dude. I feel like you could do it. You just like I thought of it one day and just kind of worked. Dude, I feel like because dude, the way I do like no footers air is I like no footer and then my back foot like catches like hits the deck and then I like late turn. So I'm already like set up to no footer back yeah. lip, like late no footer and then late into back lip and then just kind of fucking literally hit a crazy. back lip. Yeah, you almost have to like do no footer and then just pop over into a back lip. Yeah, cause dude, think about like turning with a no footer. Like that just doesn't make sense. Just miss the deck and <laughs> like, no, <laughs> don't say goodbye to children. Yeah, shit, dude. For a fucking stupid podcast request. <laughs> fucking plebs. Leave <laughs> <Maybe it's> bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
Damn, Steve's fucking, uh, let's see. How fast do you think you could scooter fucking like three miles? Bro. Um, like just straight, no turning straight. in traffic and shit. Great question. It was, it was up or down or now. <laughs> or it was just like flat. Just like a straight down. flat. Dude. I feel like uh not as fast as I used to be able to, but definitely like Damn. three miles. Give us a prime oh, a... time, Steez, and like a now time. What's up? Give us like a prime time, Steez, and like a now time. What do you mean by that? Like you said, like you could you probably used to be able to do it faster. Oh, okay, okay. A prime time? Like the best. I don't three even know, dude. I'm like trying got... to think like how how fast do I even scooter one mile, bro? I mean, okay, dude, give me reference. It, awesome. it depends. Fast... I feel like how fast do you want to scooter those three miles? Because that's but another I... aspect. Okay, I'm going. You, I'm just like, gonna... you could either be pushing, like, kind of, kind of leisurely. I feel like it could be done straight in like. I feel like ten minutes would be fast as hell. Ten minutes but, like, would be maybe, fast, but like maybe oh, doable. Dude. I don't know, dude. Three miles, yeah, you're right. I feel I like I could, like, feel like I could run one if I was really trying in like nine minutes, six minutes, minutes, seven minutes. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you're probably right. You are kind of the fastest man in scootering, aren't you? Fastest man. I hit five fourteen, bro. That's my record for a mile. No fucking shot. That's actually insane. That's when I was good. younger, I like told my mom I did six eighteen, and she like signed me up for track and field, and I like obviously why. <laughs> so I was like in track and field classes, and I was like slow as fuck. Uh, but yeah, dude, dude, I feel like I can I run like an eight minute mile right now. Like yeah, if I went outside right now, eight to nine, maybe ten stops. Oh, you can make it sub ten, you know, like one. I feel like I could push through one, but three is some endurance. Three's fucking gnarly. If I were to run, yeah. I would probably want to shoot myself afterwards. But scootering. Uh, I mean, you roll and you're also on a vehicle, so there's less actions with all your muscles. You go switch, you know, yeah. you switch yeah, up the feet. Fucking, the switch, the switch. Oh, not long dude, long. switch front fifty whip was sick in OC four. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, dude. It was wild because the fucking back fifty heel probably took me more tries because <laughs> I did it like in one line and I like kept fucking up the back fifty heel and then I tried maybe the front fifty switch whip. Switch run fifty whip like maybe four times, three four time stops. But you I want it to up. be back to back. Yeah, that was the goal. Yeah, I know. Yeah. In the clip, they're like unscripted. Whoa, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, dude. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Angel's a fucking goofy ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he, he do be doing shit like that. I liked the Drain Gang song choice. Was that oh, his yeah. idea, or did you just want to match his? Yeah. <laughs> no. Nah. He, he chose he chose both. I like nice. I like both songs. I think I was like a little skeptical of the second song because it's like it, I could make it work, but at first it was like okay, like sure, yeah. But I you know I always want to like try new shit. But if he says this and he like says it more than once, I'm like okay, like yeah. And then it ended up being super. Sick. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. I was draining. I was draining super hard. <laughs> Trained out <Yeah>. so hard. <laughs> Couch was wet with my, with my drain game. Yep. Yeah. Um. Well, hey, what's your favorite trick? Ooh. Old one. Old I one. Bring that back. Answer, bro. Damn. Um. Forgot to ask I Delaney. Am. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. We forgot the last. We forgot to ask Delaney Ball what her favorite trick is. Oh shit! Fuck. I just know what it was. Uh, <laughs> front board whip. Flair. Triple backflip. Um. I really, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of tricks that I enjoy doing because they feel nice. And then the favorite trick is like the one that trumps all the other ones. I just can't tell you, man. I Except guess... for no footers. No, I'm kidding. I don't know, dude. Who's got a better half cab T bog? You or Kook on a scoop? Let's be real. Fuck, dude. I don't know, bro. <laughs> that was like the one half cab trick I've done on that clip. That was a pretty I, sick I, spot, like too. Ones. Yeah. I, like, never do fakies. So. Really? Yeah. That was Not kind a of fakie. No, I'm more of a Manny guy. Yeah. I'm more of a Manny guy myself, actually. 
Man, those are nice. Yeah. Dude, my mountain water, really? I fucking... Oh, is he taking my mountain water? Yeah, Josh is trying to like get I his whiskers it. all up in that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh... I left my water downstairs. God damn it, I'm parched. Yeah, oh, he was freaking parched. parched baby. Um, he's parched. Josh, go bring him that. He's parched. Parched. <laughs> Josh, please. <laughs> please, parched. Josh. Yeah, he's walking away. Ah. He's out of there. God. <laughs> Brother the can't scratch another man's he's, back. He's calling the, he's, damn, no, he's real. He's real. Disgraceful. Damn. All right, back on he to what get, matters. He didn't get the <laughs> tap, but he's bringing the water. So, all right, the water bless. Matters, even, even hand delivery. He said Amazon. Oh priming. my God, bless my heart. Day. I have day two kids. You, you got to give him a sip that chlorine water. Yeah, I filled this up at the airport actually. Some airport water. <laughs> Some AP. Shit, dude. Give yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Shit can make you what fly, you dude. <laughs> Brought me all the way from Destin to Austin. Yeah. <laughs> um, Chlorinated bullshit. <laughs> uh, Chinese bullshit. <laughs> Damn, I feel like he wouldn't have brought the water up if it wasn't to talk shit about the water. If it was good water, he would have just left it. He wanted to come up and jab at my water. God Yo, damn it. This kid is... um, <laughs> Big shirt. Fucking Nathan, what I did want to ask though is when it comes to filming uh, and all this, who did you, uh, did you like learn from anybody or did you teach yourself a lot? Well, I think uh, I taught a like a lot of things to myself because i've started like dude i remember my first camera i like we were at this high school in irvine and i like found it in this like weird little like trash sex- section you know like when the uh, school is like they get new electronics they don't have anything to do with all the to like throw them out and i found yeah. this like weird tape camera there it was like um you got your first remember. camera out of the school trash bin dude i i have I think I still have a camera. One of my picture cameras that That's... I just recently restarted using is also on the track. Dude, hell I don't yeah. remember where it's done, but yeah. Um, Getting it done. Yeah, so tapes, like, boom. It's like the classic, like, uh, fuck yeah, I can film all my tricks now. And then you get a firewire and a USB and you're like, well, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so I, I think I taught myself almost all that I know. And especially because... Like, even if I were to be given advice, I am the same person. I wait until it's too late to learn. So, like, every single time I, like, learn something, it's because of something that I did. I'm not really, like, you can't tell me to do something and I'll just learn it. I have yeah. to actively, like, use all my You have to be forced to learn it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't, can't leave stuff in the car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, bro. I had to, like, learn through all those mistakes. And even in, like, work, like, you just fuck up, and I'm like, okay, like, I learned from it. You can't tell me to, like, fucking do this. Yeah. I'm going to do it because I'm a bumbling buffoon at times. Um, but not bumbling so... buffoon. <laughs> yeah. Good word. Yeah, dude. Um, but yeah, most of the things that I do, I, like, just fuck around on my computer, and I, like, just do shit like that. Like, that's how I learned. I remember, like, when I was first filming tapes, though, like, I would, like, go on forums, like, fucking look at, like, manufacturers' websites, like, PDF, camera manuals, like, shit like that. And, like, even, like, like sometimes I'll, like, take cameras apart just to kind of, like, see, and then I'll fuck them up, and then I'll have to, like, order parts and fix them. Like, that's all, like, you can't really, like, understand that unless you do it yourself. That's one of those things, especially for me. Yeah, and a lot of those parts, like I just download PDFs and shit like that. And I'm just like, oh hey, like this part has this code, and then I type it in, find it on the internet, and then get shipped to my house and put it in. Nice. Yeah, so a lot, like literally everything, except for like, like nah, I wouldn't even say that. I've definitely gotten a few pointers here and there, but I didn't really take them to heart until I realized their effect. Hmm. Um, but yeah, self-taught, self-taught, self-made, Made. millionaire. <laughs> yeah, self-made, self-made entrepreneur I did this shit on my own bro yeah we're just some young hung entrepreneurs <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's crazy crazy bro put it on the streets <laughs> <laughs> made it out the hood and well uh we can we can transition into 
our segment, our classic segment. Uh, oh, Phil's, Phil? Phil's top 10. God. Shout out Phil, by the way. Just fucking. For real. If you don't shout know, out. shout out Phil. Everyone um, go drop him a follow, all that shit. Yeah. Might comment sub. He really holds it down. Hopefully you get to meet him next time you're in Texas, Steez. Yeah. yeah, who's Phil, dude? Uh, Phil, he's nuts. <laughs> 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 Bro, I was like, then I was like, okay, I don't want to be a bad person, just kind of agree with it. Okay, I might as well just ask who Phil is, bro. Like, all right, dude, who the fuck is Phil? <laughs> that's why you get. That's what you get for being a good person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he fucking falls on the face. Ten <laughs> <laughs> four uh, has officially dropped their sack in Steve Louise's mouth. <laughs> These have been sacked. <laughs> uh, that's number two, I think. Most people do just brush it off. They're like, what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> All right. Oh, normally, yeah. normally our first question is um who's the Michael Jordan of scootering? But <laughs> secret <laughs> secret top ten and fills is if you get yeah. fucking filled. Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel? <laughs> dude, How does it what? feel, man? <laughs> Wonderful, ten four nuts dangling, bro. Hell yeah, Fucking big, big sack scooters, baby. <laughs> big, big sack, sack scooters. Scooter. Oh my god! Ooh, damn, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, um, thanks, thanks Steve's bro. That was good. Thank you. We <laughs> we wanted that one for we a get while. Rewarded in the afterlife, unlike awesome. the rest of those people, those bad, <laughs> unpolite <laughs> mfs. No, nah, dude, I got you guys. Any anytime, I knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> Um, well, number one, um, is going to be, who's the Michael Jackson of scootering? The Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. Like, the Michael Jordan. Jordan. The Michael Jordan of scootering. Dude, okay, so, yeah. Who is the Michael Jackson of scootering though? Let's get into it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no clue. Who's real um, flamboyant? Who is flamboyant scootering? Claudius. Or has that know, thing where they, they lose their skin color. I don't know yeah. if there's any if there's any uh scooter riders out there with that disease, but Damn. me me every me every They're winter listening. after I am outside all day and get super sad, and then I stay inside <laughs> and just get super fucking bad. Yeah, or any or any scooter riders with the with a button nose. Button any, nose. Anybody who has a nice button nose that rides. What is a button nose? It's just it's it's very curved and then pointy. Oh shit, dude! It's the Michael Jackson nose, you got it, dude. It's like a the the puffs like a tissue. Yeah, company. like it it All has those it has transition. Yeah, dude, you could fucking do a bride for Yeah, yeah, dude. I don't know. I feel he like I don't have really a big ass, ass nose. nose. Yeah, who's got a get... schnoz? Damn, for real. Yeah. Let, Let us know in the comments, been... gang. Dude. Who's got a fucking big ass schnoz on him? Instagram. <laughs> Do you have a schnoz and do you scooter? <laughs> All <Pretty> right. Fiction. <laughs> Maybe we should add that to Phil's. Like, who's got the biggest schnoz? Yeah. Dude, that would say That would Just start asking him. <laughs> They're like, what? Like, what? <laughs> really They're asking them the what a schnoz is. Yeah. They just, like, they just let them interpret it. Yeah. Are they can assume cock or just yeah. biggest douchebag. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's completely they say. It's, yeah, like, why are why do you think them? That would be funny as hell, bro. Just add it made up add it to the notes. Yeah, <laughs> I'll add it or, real quick. Or you guys could like make up a word and like <laughs> see what they try and like. Interpret, interpret it, it. yeah yeah, yeah. Like, like, no, just like make up a word just like who has the best <laughs> in scooter it? and they're just like either they won't know or they'll try to know yeah <laughs> fuck i'm trying to That's think of something and i can't Dude, all right gang like... comment below fake words only yeah, made up words, words only <laughs> made up words <laughs> only <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should change it. Maybe even like just hit up chat B GPT. Yeah, Make generate a us word. a word. Generate us a word, a five letter word. Crazy fucking 
a schnoz knockoff. It's fucking yeah. Who do you think's the biggest Pezberg in scootering? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Pezberg. <laughs> That's a lot crazy. of fucking Pezbergs out there, but I don't. I need to know who you think's the biggest one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just make it, make it, make it seem like they're the only ones capable of going first. Yeah. Just, like, I've make got it all day. seem like they have a choice. All right, all right, all right. Nathan Bird. <laughs> yeah. Hear me Nathan, out. Oh, Beauregard? Nathan Beauregard? For real. Fucking Pezberg. Pezberg. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right, Michael Jordan. Dude, stop, stop. I like I was like trying to like hopefully get out of that question. Cause dude, I know Michael Jordan plays basketball, but I have no idea like what makes him Michael Jordan, bro. I'm not a sports person <laughs> at all and I like barely know anything about pop culture. So dude. this is like he's a Pesberg. It's, it's just the greatest what he's about... a fucking Pesberg. You heard it here <laughs> first. Michael Jordan's a Pesberg. <laughs> it's the goat. It's Michael MJ is considered the, the goat of scootering. <laughs> Yeah, dude, Coda? You just asked me who's the Coda of Scootering? Yes. It's Coda, dude. <laughs> Who else would it be? No, um... Hunter. Hunter Girl. shoots. Or is Savannah. Ooh. Ooh. Savannah shoots? Someone should find Isn't there her a Savannah? nowadays. I... Yeah, there is a Savannah shoots, right? I'm not... Yeah, I remember that. this, right? I have no idea. I truly have crazy. I, like, barely knew there was a Hunter. I didn't barely know. I, I knew that one, but I definitely did not know about a Savannah. Pretty sure he had the first triple N worth. Yeah. Someone, t- someone tap in with his sister for real. Yeah, Ten somebody, somebody sit fucking SS and SOS. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, Savannah. Like, damn, bro. That took me like at least five seconds too fucking long. <laughs> I like I like decrypted your fucking message, bro. Fucking top. We we were talking <laughs> code SS here. SS and SOS, bro. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Who's the who's the M J O S M? All right, uh, I said I kind of read that wrong, honestly, because it was Michael Jordan <laughs> of scootering male and female on my notes. Yeah. It would just be where's the M? Male and female. That was it's What's Michael it? Jordan of scootering male. <laughs> yeah, it would just be what? female away. That. Who's the guy? Damn. The, well, Mike wanted us to ask who the like the best female writer was too, essentially. Hey, hey, Mike, Mike, Phil. First Sorry, off, Phil. we're like, oh, yeah, um, fuck, fuck, bitch ass. Um, but yeah, my, he, you, Mike. he wanted us to say that who's the MJ of scootering, male and female. Um, All right, so I'll say but, female first. But Michael Jordan's oh, yeah. not a female, so he's... Okay, but if Michael Jordan was a female. Okay. And the females uh, are just... Most iconic scooter rider, but they also are one of the best good. riders. Oh, we're going most iconic? That's like MJ, he's, he's considered the GOAT of basketball, one of, because there's other in the picture, but he's definitely one of the most iconic players. Gotcha. Let's translate I, I, that I, to booters. Gotcha. All right. So I was, I want to say Mia, Mia Catalano, uh, but I think iconic, I feel like, like iconic like has legacy. So I want to say like Kiara Mead, maybe? Little, little uh, lucky. He was little pretty lucky. good too. Yeah, she was. I think she rode like take a lot. Yeah, like, yeah, like over there. But Mia, Mia's pretty, pretty boss. I don't like. I don't know. I feel like she's the bar best. inward. Yeah, mega man. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, she's also like really good. Mia. Yeah, yeah, like I filmed her. I filmed her her Ender video that I don't know if it's released yet. I almost said the trick, but I decided not to, uh, because I don't think it's released. But like the way she like, like like kept falling and like the way she like picked herself back up uh and she landed it like fucking perfectly and it was such a like a like it was a moment for sure like you know like she definitely like worked for it and she got it because she put in that pitch. and i think that's yeah what scootering is like it involves so fuck yeah, yeah. bill mj i'm gonna go to mia Kitalano and oh yeah sure. mj of scootering male mj osm um there you I, go. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Michael Jordan, dude. I I like can't even think of half the scooter riders. Um, I feel like the only one that I can like confidently put down is probably. Ah, dude, I don't even want to say that one. You could just put on a homie right now. All right, dude. MJ OSM is 
I hate Corbin Smith. No, I was gonna okay. say Isaac Miller because well, so he's iconic and he's like, that's a good one. Good, like he like yeah, yeah. like he's yeah. like you can't really yeah skills yeah. to pay the bills and he has legacy. So he's got that no fucking doubt. mentality, dude. Yeah, dude, he's, he's got, got that, that mamba, mamba mentality. Yeah, I got Tiger. Go. Already snow. All right, <laughs> that's good. Number two. Number two. Worst <laughs> trend. <clears throat> oh shit, dude! Fuck me. Um, I don't know, dude. I thought of one today. But you I'll, thought of one I'll go second. second. I'll go second. Okay, you're gonna go second. All right, so I really I like. Okay, so I I'm gonna apply this how I like interpret it and like how it affects me. I really don't like like how scooter decks really like only have like very set sizings. It's so, like if you want a wider deck, you have to go twenty three and above. And I like. I'm a huge stickler on like how my deck feels when I'm like popping and riding it, and most of the decks like I don't like because I want it to be a specific way and they're not like that. I remember like I would like I would think when Tilt released their formulas, I kind of try like I posted things on my story and I was like, okay, like why is it this way or whatever. And I remember seeing somebody reached out to me and they said that it's a majority thing, obviously, right? You're running a business, you want to cater to the majority because the, the minority doesn't make you enough money or there's not enough margin of sale to actually do it and that sucks but it does make sense from a business standpoint and you know it's scooting there's not a bajillion dollars in scooting so i get it but, but. that's why it, this is my worst trend because it it sucks for me but everybody else loves it so yeah i mean i might not even be everybody else i feel like just that's what people have agreed on now. But you're right. We need more little like people need to experiment with the increments a little bit more. Get some two point two sevens or two point two eight. Someone needs Especially to just with, run the physics on like pop, dude. And it's yeah, dude. Like literally, because that's such an unknown thing. Even to myself, bro. I just know like head to bangers. I'm a, like I really like eighty three and eighty three and a half, but all, most all decks are eighty four now, and then they're twenty three, which is like. Like, you have to actually put in a lot more work to pop. And, like, I write it uh, 84 by 23 right now, and I, like, and I enjoy it. But it's weird because every time I go back to an 83 that's, like, decently sized, I'll, like, be like, fuck, like, why was I writing that other deck for a amount of months when this feels this much better? And I'll, like, actually enjoy my scootering a little bit more. Think you can I... jump higher on an 83? Dude, I wouldn't say I can jump higher. What I would say is I can jump the same height uh, more comfortably, and I'll feel better when I land that same jump. I have never like really thought about my head tube angles. That's one thing I've like never really noticed. I probably notice it, but I never attribute it to like the head tube angle. I'm just like, oh, this feels a little weird. Yeah, but that's that's an increment I normally I, I just never look at when I buy a deck. Yeah, I think uh, well, because it's also weird because like you know, you buy two decks, same specs, everything's similar, and then one has a lot of weight up front, and the other one doesn't, so it feels different, right? So you could buy two different, completely different decks, but same size on everything, and they'd be, obviously, two completely different decks still, right? They feel different, they ride different, they grind different, they whip different, do everything, because yeah. of that one minor weight distribution that's different. Yeah, 100%, dude. That's one thing where yeah. it's like, it's so much different between like scooters and I think skateboarding and bikes is I feel like most frames and boards are pretty similar. Like yeah. they're all pretty much the same thing. I mean, maybe this is lack of knowledge, but you just have like, you got cruiser boards that are a lot different, but that's like, you kind of know what you're getting into with the funky shape. Then all yeah. every basic shape, it's like going to feel the same, just get the size you like. Whereas decks, it's, I don't know, there's so many little like manufacturing ideas you can throw into it. That'll change it completely. Yeah. yeah. Every deck feels think, different. Yeah, I used like, to think about that different. exact, like, what you just said when I was young. Like, I liked scootering a lot because of all the customized customizability that was available to me. Because, yeah. like, you know, I thought about, like, oh, skateboards, they all look the same. But on a scooter, like, I have room to express myself and what I, like, enjoy seeing through my scooter. But now it's like, well, I mean, that could still be the case. It's just I value different things now. Yeah. I definitely yeah. put less thought into like what my scooter looks like and how my build works now. Yeah, but I definitely growing up. What was that fucking website where you could build your own scooter? 
They had like lucky. Gizmania. They had I was lucky. I, the lucky had one too, but it was only lucky parts. Um, I think Scooter Garage. They it had was a, a few shop. Dude. I think it was in Australia or England. Ooh, fuck. Um, I would use it all the time. And no, just build they completes. had a few. They had a few. Um, uh, I know. Okay, so I already said it, but the Gizmania one out of Czech Republic. They they definitely had one that they used a lot, but that's the only one I remember using that I actually remember using the name. But I remember one from Australia. Did no, it wasn't Scooter Hut, but it was like Skate Hut. Might right? have been. I don't know. Because it had, uh, it had not... the red. It was a red website, and it had like the doghouse. It was a red doghouse as the like logo. Dude, maybe for some reason I'm thinking like, blue and skate... white. But oh, I could be wrong. No, Broadway has Scooter one too. Hut. Broadway has one too, right? Or they have had one. Fuck, I'm not. It's oh. it's not coming to me. But to just building completes online when you're a kid. Was it was like, the would best gas shit me ever, up, bro. bro. Dude. And then, okay, so I think some of the websites, when they didn't have shit in stock, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to put it on, which w- made sense to me now. Like, oh, hey, this makes sense, right? But when I was younger, I would fucking be destroyed, bro, because yeah. I couldn't select the part that I wanted to put on this build. Like, I didn't want to... I wasn't going to buy this thing. I just <laughs> I wanted to, to screenshot it and put it on my Instagram, like, dream complete. <laughs> literally, yeah. bro. Literally. Uh-huh. Fuck, dude. I wasn't actually planning on buying it. Hell no. Dude, yeah, I would put like all Apex parts on my scooter. <laughs> this is when I was like you 14. Know. This is a little. Yeah, dude. Okay. Fuck. The river moves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, man. I missed that. God, I had the. I, I had the ugliest setup in my eyes when I first started. I had I went from I had a Ultra Pro and then I got a Lucky Strata and then I built from the Strata like I just bought parts here and there but I had like 19 Jeez. tar 19 tar 19 tar <laughs> uh Apex bull bars they're raw <laughs> and then I got a a blue MFX deck the first MFX that ever came out and like looking back on it oh my Fucking god, it was Dude, disgusting. I, I so every time I'd see that deck at skate parks, it'd always be like so strange. Like I remember, like you had to do inwards to ride that deck, and then all the like, dude, I just would kind of never see done people one. Like... But you keep going. <laughs> no, dude, I, it was always like every time I saw somebody do it, it was like a helmet, like chrome bars for some odd fucking reason, and then yeah, they did like overheads, and dude, it was weird because wasn't that deck like heavy as shit too? Yeah, heavy as shit. It had like these spiked edges too. The front, they were like curved. They honestly, they fucking looked like this, dude. This was the front of an MFX deck when they first released. <laughs> and so and um, I remember it, I tried to board slide this rail at my park and I slipped and my front foot got caught in front of the head tube and I punctured a hole in my ankle. I had to get like 19 stitches. And it like literally, I like my piece of my foot was stuck in the front of this mfx deck ever since then i they've changed it since but i've been like i've i'll never touch an mfx deck ever again fuck that no, deck fuck that. It's me so and mad gear been i ain't been mad enough since 2014 bro <laughs> yeah it was like anybody has dude <laughs> let's be real <laughs> Loves, bro it was <laughs> mad enough recently <laughs> <laughs> That's your boy. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Like I talked him into doing that. He was he was like not down with it. But all of a sudden, like Ian, Ian, you see, we see Ian, like Logan and I are together. And yeah. Ian walks up, it's like, bro, like why'd you do that? Like everybody left. They're not gonna give you anything. Like all the bad things that he could clearly see without even knowing the situation. That I was just standing there, like, yeah, dude. Like why the fuck could you do that? And obviously, Logan, <laughs> idiot. Yeah, dude, I mean, yeah. I didn't say anything, but I was like, what the fuck? Why would I do that? Yeah. Damn. Damn. That's funny. How long did that last? Logs on Mad Gear? Not long. It's funny because, like, he, he, like, I think they, like, he, like, didn't sign a contract, but he definitely signed paperwork. It was, like, weird. So he could leave whenever he wanted, and he wasn't contractually obliged to do these things you know, things that ensured he was sponsored or the sponsorship required. But, like, dude, like, I want to say four months, but probably, like, one to three months. Stops. Damn. It was, like, it wasn't long, because, like, I think Terry Price was the person in charge, and then I think another guy that I can't remember. I'm just name-dropping people at this point. I Like, I keep thinking about that. Um, 
Oh, fuck but it. I think they like wouldn't pay for his comp fee, even though they said they would. And he was like, "Yeah, no, I'm not down." And then he just stopped. I don't Damn, think he ever like, verbally left or did anything like that. He just, yeah, he might have. I'm not sure, but Anthony Twan Bustos, fuck you. <laughs> Twan nine, pay for the fucking comp. Dude, they're fucking forking over thirty dollars. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck, man. Let's talk about uh Lucas Demeglio, bro. European world champion, three hundred dollar yeah. check. That shit's fucking huge for scootering. Dude, you know what's funny? So I actually have. He I would say a, f- a controversial opinion on this. Three uh, hundred bucks European, bro. No, that was what he yeah. won. Yeah. Okay, so okay, uh, so I'll I'll agree to an extent. So three hundred dollars is not a lot. Um, I think it was a like, European what? charge. You don't what? say. I thought that shit was a bag. What do you mean? Three hundred bucks. How many fucking, fucking chalkies and Seven Eleven pizza? Huge, you get three hundred dollars. It's almost a full year of eating. Dude, I, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna speak my piece. That's that's money. Yeah. I'm screwed. <laughs> Thank like, you. That's that's right? that's the bottom line. It's almost <laughs> worth everything fuck. you put into it for that. Dude, like stop. to be Lucas <laughs> and to get that three hundred finally, I bet he's fucking he's hyped, stoked. super stoked. Damn near into retirement with that one. Four hundred one k, putting some away Shit. for a rainy Shit. day. No, yeah. what's the one where it's like this kid's holding like the the big check and it says great prizes? You guys remember that? <laughs> no, one? dude, no. that was definitely around on Instagram. It's like some kid holding, not probably not some kid, but like no, I think it's just like zoomed in on this check and it says great prizes oh my god bro like, not, even, not even like awesome rad parts just, just great, great prizes, prizes. <laughs> like yeah you can cash this shit uh in at your local fat daddy's arcade and get some silly bands <laughs> yeah take your scooter check down to you can yeah mean ass arcade right next to this park you could Get like Just one point for Charleston show, yeah. like yeah. some shit like that. A yep. half eaten dum dum with fucking some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the Camera out of the trash the table, bro. <laughs> You can play that big fash, the the big fuck. What is it? It's the fucking bass fishing game. Have you ever seen that? You oh pull God, the wheel dude. and it spins. Dude, exactly you, get, yeah. you get three spins. Yeah, like... you get three spins. <laughs> <laughs> like, Fucking Deer Hunter 11 or some stupid yeah. shit. Buck Hunter? You like, you like, you like, you like, you get like five one... games of Buck Hunter <laughs> in with this check. <laughs> shit, that should be free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, dude. he's taking a bitty with him. He's, he's like, oh, babe, I got like five spins. <laughs> it's an all inclusive vacation, want? babe. <laughs> Just won this for you. We were there for thirty minutes, and then we couldn't play anymore. Consider this an anniversary gift. <laughs> All right, I'll put I'll put five more bucks in the machine. We can play deal or no deal. All right, will that calm you down? I, I, I want that trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. <laughs> I got a little something extra in my back pocket. <laughs> Dude, I know you're mad. Just watch this video of me inwarding out of the skate park one more time. Yeah. <laughs> In the hard way. Uh, hell yeah. It's already uh, got 1,000 likes. Fucking the algorithm really took this one. <laughs> I'm baby, fucking high. It's already tight. got 60 cents. Yeah, dude. I use drip or drown, baby. This <laughs> shit's blown up. Fuck you mean by gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Trending sound check? Uh ooh, a dollar. Yeah. Um okay. let's see what we got. Most underrated rider to look for, Steez. To look we for got... him. You know what's funny? Uh Angel don't make his. Uh so he was in OC4. If you don't know, his handle is uh Nature Scum. Uh, it's funny because he's been around for a long time, but he's literally by far one of the most underrated scoot riders. I think. He's good, man. He's really good. Like, beyond good. Like, the way he scooters and the way he, like, does tricks is mind-blowing to me. Um, so, a lot of, there's a lot of, like, the newer generation, right, they do, like, whip back lip on, like, Hollywood 6, whatever the fuck, you know? Like, yeah. within two tries. Or if, first try, because they don't think about it. But Angel is, like, 
he does that. Like I'll like pull my camera out and he'll do like the most insanely tactical trick and then add like a heal whip out. Like he'll be trying something. Not even like not even like really trying it. But he'll be trying the specific trick and then he'll just land it and do like a double heal out or just fucking being fakey and then like full truck and then just stick it within five tries. Like the way that he is so confident and understands what he's doing and it's just in so much control over what he's doing and just can land shit and his ability yeah. is just mind blowing to me. And yeah, he's also very underrated. But yeah. he also like doesn't really like uh he's not super present on social media as much as some other people are. So that's you know, it's a one of those things for sure. But dude, definitely an underrated scooter writer who is fucking mind bogglingly good. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's dude, a good okay. one, man. Shout out, Angel. Shout out, Nature's Calm. <laughs> Shout out, the color of nature. Fucking nature's hygiene. The city, <clears throat> city's hygiene. City hygiene. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's the next one? Uh, it... Did you learn to tail up or bar spin first, Steve? Dude, okay. This is, okay, 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 okay. So, bar spin. But I'd say I, I like, didn't really learn them. I definitely learned the tricks eventually, but... I fucking like definitely like found the ways to do them where they don't count if I did them at scoop. So for bar spin here, I'll stand up so you can see what I'm doing. So for bar spins, I would like lift my back wheel. So so I'm I'm riding down the street, right? I'm just fucking push, kick, push, and post to come. If I wanted to do a bar spin, I'd put my right hand upside down, grab it like this, and that way when I brought it over here, I could grab it like this and then do this. Which, honestly, now that I say it, makes less sense than doing the actual bar spin, but that's the way I did it, and it was I can, easier. I can envision it, yeah. I yeah, can see like it. It, was, it was just easy, but I wouldn't even jump. I would just lift my front wheel. She and did I like think, a pull-up, underhanded bar. Yeah, and that's why bar spin. Bar. I nice. learned, I think after that, I learned aqua bars, which I throw naturally. So anytime you see me do a throw bar, I'm aqua. And then I kind of learned how to toss with my right hand, and then that's, oh, that's the one. Yeah, that's interesting. I started doing. I that's never do bars. So you have bars both ways, but you throw your oppo bar, but it's like natural yeah. for you because it's weird. Because when I was younger, I definitely had the ability to learn how to toss them off, but now like my wrist is like so. My left wrist is like so fucked. Uh, there's a bunch of like calcium buildup. Yeah, so I can't really hold, bend hold, it. hold that up real quick. Actually, that, I that can't can... bend it this way, which sucks for filming lines because like. You want to angle it up, but this is me trying with all my might to fucking bend it. Dude, can you like take like a chisel and hammer to that thing and like dude, get it's it, funny. Get it out? It's funny because it was already there when I got my scaphoid surgery. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I woke up like half expecting it to like bend and shit, and then it was just fucked still. But yeah, so I can't really like. Another thing is I do front scoots with my right hand, so I land on the heel side because I yeah. can't do them with my fucked wrist. So there's a lot of little things like that. So I never really learned how to toss them, and now I can't learn how to toss off the bars. Interesting. So I just throw them. But yeah, your wrist—that was on a heel board, right? Was that the heel okay, board? Okay, so I, so yeah, it, it was on a number of things. Okay, the clip though, where you fall on it and you're like, oh, I just broke my wrist, with a straight oh face. Oh my god! No, because it was like it was. I was wearing Wyatt. I was with Jacob Bogleman. We were in like this one school in Riverside, and there was an aluminum rail. And I was like, "All right, fuck it." Hadn't learned. I hadn't learned my lesson yet, and I like had him pull out things, but like the iPhone just fucking went straight to my wrist. And I was like, "Yeah, I think I broke my wrist." And I like hadn't, but dude, at that time it was like already broken. Like I was definitely riding with a fractured wrist for probably I want to say a year, but probably longer. Damn, dude. I like initially like fractured. I think both. I want to say both. But the left one was definitely worse. I was trying 270 back lifts on like the seven rail, and that trick was so weird because I don't spin front side, and I also couldn't 270 back lift at all. And I was just trying that them on this rail, and I kept trying to lean what I thought would be the right way, but it was just the opposite way. So I would lean the wrong way for hitting a down rail, and I kept like falling forward and going to my wrist. Like 20 times it was okay, but on that 21st, I just like fuck. Oh, like fuck that shit, like fucking hurt. And then I kept riding with it, riding with it, riding with it. And then over time, like, like I have a calcium buildup. I've mentioned it earlier, like, every time I rode with it, I would, like, fracture it a little bit, then it would heal, and then I'd fracture it a little bit. Then all that new bone would just go to this point that's blocking my wrist from bending in certain ways. So now, 
can't film fish eye left on it. Man, so are you ambidextrous? That no, means you can... definitely not. No. No, yeah. I no, I, I I'm right handed predominantly. I can still like type and do things, don't get me wrong. Like I can still hand I can use to grab things like my fucking phone and shit, but yeah, no. Yeah. It's just like a claw. Yeah, literally. Yeah, okay. Damn. Yeah, dude. Logging. A claw. <laughs> I have <laughs> been chosen. <laughs> fucking that's um Toy Story, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Da, 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 number Suggestion five. Suggestion of praise. Yeah, sport. Steve's Louise. Gotta say we're in sync right there. Damn, I didn't even know you were reading. <laughs> I ruined the moment. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. Right Suggestion now. to further the sport. <laughs> Suggestion to further the sport? So, yes. okay, so I'm suggesting something that would be beneficial for scootering. Um, uh, Dude, um, I think a lot of okay. So I have a few things, but I'll I'll mention like briefly, like but strongly, concisely. Um, just uh, not being a dickhead. <laughs> um, so I guess just like just being nice to people, because I feel like a lot of people are like, you're a kid, you pulled to the skate park, and you're like, you one of your one of the cool scooter riders is there, and they just like pull guy the fuck out of you, like okay, I'm trying to scooter, like get the fuck out of the way. Dude, a lot of that shit, like, lasts. Because, dude, it's, like, I, sometimes I work after school. Like, those those minds are so fucking fluid. Like, they will remember that for the rest of their fucking lives. Like, they will take that shit to the grave. Um, just be nicer. Like, in general, just enjoy people and just try to practice positivity. Even if you, like, don't even believe in that shit. But, because that shit, like, lasts. Um, another thing is, this one kind of, like, is practical. Uh, scootering is a business, and I hate to say it, but the way that it is, is that it's business oriented. And I think times have definitely changed to a way that you can't really be an asset to a business if you're just riding your scooter. I think you have to apply your skills in a way that makes sense in a, from a business perspective. Yeah, and like how start a podcast. Benefit. Yeah, dude. And dude, right. like... And it's funny because I don't know if you're joking when you say that, but I'm half joking, but I, I agree. Okay. I just, but yeah, it's, it, you can yeah. apply that. Um, but <laughs> no, yeah, agreed. And, By the way, that would benefit what? hundred percent. hundred percent. I agree with what you say all the way. Cause it's scootering needs money and it needs eyes. And, yeah, um, right. that's why I was, I say the podcast thing jokingly, but it is like a way to try and help the sport and get people involved, whatever. For fun, yeah, I mean, dude, like it might not seem like much to a lot of people, but it is definitely something. And even if it's not much, it's still fucking something, something. right? And, and by the every... way, any big companies that want to send parts our way to prototype and test so that we can uh give them reviews on the podcast, hit my line, my scooter's about to break. <laughs> Yo, what do you need, Pat? I need a deck. I need a fork. Andrew, Andrew. I, need, I need wheels. Um, any scooter company who wants massive financial gain. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> massive financial gain is crazy. Um, but continue. But yeah. Because, wanna... yeah. dude, like, and you can apply that anywhere. Like, life is what it is. And I think the more you waste time complaining, the worse it is for yourself. The more you embrace what you have going regardless of how it seems the better off you are <laughs> in general so yeah yeah and it's like if you don't want to do that just don't uh, don't worry about being sponsored there's no yeah like, just it really doesn't matter what you do yeah. It, yeah i mean it's such a thing like if you care so much then just fucking whatever dude care so much yeah it's 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 um it's one of those dude yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. it's like if you really do want to represent a company and be on their team whatever just know that that is what like you have to do right now with scootering and it's like if that doesn't sound fun to you just ride for fun just go to a and, park yeah, enjoy it that's all that really matters right yeah like, as and that's long cool as too. You, like i don't even want to say as long as you enjoy it like just do whatever the fuck you want you know what i mean like life life is so like tragically short to not do that shit and i mean dude like yeah and you could if you don't want to be sponsored, then don't. As exactly like you said. Yeah. If you if you don't want to do the things that come with it, fuck it. 
and dude, like, it's not like, like, dude, once you hit, like, 18, like, sure, parts would be nice, but that's, like, something that, you know, it's a business. You have to understand that before you agree to signing a contract. Like, yeah. that's, you're signing a contract. Yes, 100%. 100%. It's like the UFC. Mm. And like, they need, they need fighters. Uh, they don't like people. In. They don't like people who just just want to get out there and scrap. Oh yeah, no, exactly. I mean, they dude, want superstars. Yeah, they want people that they are going to sell people who are dedicated and willing to make things work regardless of yeah. you know anything. So if you want to be a professional, if you want to make a living off scootering, you got to be a superstar. You got to be the fucking best. You got to be the Nothing best. Nothing short, dude. Yeah, and I say I said that as a joke, but you gotta be the best version of yourself. Three hundred dollars. Look at Lucas. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. I think I just heard Favorite a video. massive fart. <laughs> Josh moving the chair. What's your favorite video, Steez? Fuck, dude. Dude, uh, I have a favorite, a favorite uh-huh. like ever. He's slapping his belly over there and shit. Yeah, dude. Fart got oh, him. He's looking for a view. Shit, man. Nah, dude. Uh, tilt. When tilt like first, like the tilt video, like that era of scootering. The like, OG that, tilt it, video, tilt one. Yeah. Yeah. It, even tilt two, dude. Tilt Granted, two, I didn't think that one. I thought that one was super overhyped. Like I went back and watched it. It yeah. was insane. Yeah. Um, but dude, like that, dude. It just doesn't get any better. Like that's kind of when I first started realizing, like, oh hey, like this is. This is the shit. Like, this is what I enjoy. Like, this is how can I like? Because, dude, that was inspo. Like, you you get inspired by these people you see on a screen, and they're just doing the coolest shit ever to the coolest songs with the coolest filming. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that, those videos were cool. They were sick. Like, they they were doing whatever necessary to have fun. And I think that was just an elegant era for scootering and scooter videos. And that yeah, way. definitely, man. And did like the people involved, like Jesus, fucking all the greats, in my opinion, at least. Yeah, true. Yeah, um, uh, all Michael Jordans on one team. True. Holy shit! Damn. Whole team of twenty threes. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's a good point. Do you ever Gosh. see Monkey out in California? Yeah. You ride yeah. with him? Uh, I haven't in a while, but yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, He's, he lives man. like surprisingly like twenty minutes from me. Oh, okay? word. like sometimes like. He'll get off work and I'll be like at Iola, which is the park I work at, and that's a skate park. I'll just like pull up and I'll be like, "Oh hey, like what's up, dude?" But yeah, no, Ralph. Ralph is fucking dude. He's a guy. It's funny because like I grew up, like I said, watching the tote videos, and he was this guy who was fucking sick and just super insanely good at scootering. And then I like casually walk into him and I'm like, "Oh yo, what's up, dude?" <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's it's such a funny like little. Small world, not really small world, but yes, yeah, feeling, I guess. It's a small scooter world. Niche you stay in it long dude. enough. Niche community. That's what makes it so good. Yeah, dude. It 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 sucks for a lot of things, but it's also one of its best things. Yeah. Hundred percent. Favorite person to party with, Steve. I don't party. Uh but if I had to choose, it'd be my girlfriend. Hey. Favorite person to sit in a corner yeah. with at the party. My girlfriend. <laughs> Nah, well, so, um, favorite person to sit in the corner with would be Ian, because Ian and I are both sober sallies, so we don't really do anything. Dude, I went to, um, I went to an ABBA-themed, like, club recently with Ian for his girlfriend's birthday, and she brought Hell yeah. And we were just, like, slightly standing and, like, bumping up and down towards the end, but, like, yeah, definitely not, like, getting white girl wasted and fucking up the club. And it, <clears> it's funny, because, yeah, like I said, Ian and I are both sober, we're, like, not really party individuals, so whenever we are to party, it's like we know that if Ian's there or if I'm here, like okay, it won't be that bad. Yeah, but yeah, hell yeah, That's man. Cool. Abba's, what's yeah, up? Dude. I went to a disco event out here. It was awesome. I listened to some yeah, Abba dude. too, dude. But I got white awesome. girl wasted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. It wasn't that fucked up. But um, numbers we we skipped over one, but it would be if you were to go on a trip. Where would you go and who would you bring? You can bring three people. Oh, well, that works perfectly. <laughs> um, the three guys <laughs> who were in FC4. Um, really? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no way. <laughs> um, 
Dude, I've, I've fucking been talking about going on a trip for, like, longer than I can remember. Like, a decent road trip. But I've never had a car like that was worthy. Um, I want to do... I definitely want to do PNW again. That's, like, one of the fucking ones that I would love to just drive through, listening to some baller music. Uh, what, what was it again? Down. What? PNW. BN... PNW. Pacific Northwest, like, Seattle, Washington, Portland, Oregon. Oh, PNW. Okay, okay, okay gotcha. Bad. Okay. Um, I don't know. I really like. I feel like I would go overseas, but not for scootering. I feel like I would like go with my girlfriend, or like, you know, if there was something out there. But I don't know, like, if I'd really ever travel outside to scooter. And granted, I would. I just, it, I'm not going out of my way to do so. Um, yeah, dude, like fucking anywhere. Uh, I really want to do like Central America. So fucking. Literally like, oh no, Zion, bro, Zion. Cancel everything I just said, Zion. I want to go hiking and camping in Zion. Where's that? Fucking, isn't it Utah? Zion, I don't know, but okay. okay I it's, heard like of a, it, but... it's like it's like Yosemite. It's like a mountain place. You go there, oh, you okay. Hike. It's like Joshua Tree, Yosemite. It's one of those places. Okay, gotcha. Um, oh yeah. So, yeah, scooter trip, just fucking anywhere where homies are at, including Texas. Hey. I feel like yeah, the New Mexico, oh, like uh, Texas at route, Nevada, like all the desert areas, that'd be sick too. Yeah, Arizona, oh, yeah, yeah, just anywhere, dude. It doesn't really matter when I'm with the gang, guys. Yeah, Facts. for real. It's the people, not the experience. It's the journey, not the not the destination. It's all about the moment, not where the moment takes place. Love it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> love it. Uh, favorite, favorite moment. moment in scootering. Dude, honestly, yeah. um, it's funny. Um, I don't really, I don't really, I've never thought about this one. Um, but I would say it's nice, kind of like well, OC four happened while a lot of things in my life weren't going how I thought they should be. So, like when we started, I just like was so one way, and I was just like down on my luck, but everything sucks. Like I was pretty like hating life, and it's funny, like. A lot of the things that I now practice men- mentally and like that I truly believe make things better were all learned because of the hardships that I went through to produce OC4. And I think that time that I enjoyed with people who, while I was also like learning everything about myself and like understanding these people as well, and like understanding what they mean to me and like how we interact and how I enjoy these pe- people's company, those moments the best like i my i'm fucking getting chills on my my skull dude right. i fucking i love my guys and there's like literally like dude the best literally the fucking most high i've ever been on life uh have been with these guys and they are like dude i grew up with them and yeah. i still scooter with them from time to time you know what i mean like that shit's like i'm blessed and it's a brotherhood man dude it's wild because i'll like yeah. talk to people and they'll be like yeah i got like no friends and i'm just like casually blessed with like three best homies who are all like mine and do the same fucking thing and like literally only eat fast you know what i mean like this shit like doesn't happen it's like a snowflake bro yeah, yeah. blessed blessed but yeah blessed, dude man. so yeah just those moments because you know those are like the, that's the shit i look for okay yeah, man yeah. still i feel like that uh, same boat i think that's like the biggest blessing uh from scootering is just man the people i met along the way it's crazy who like we all have in our lives from it, which is it's man it's, wild. I could go on yeah. for a little bit about this. Life one. would be dude, like, very boring without it. It's isn't that crazy? Like, dude, I when yeah. I was in high school, it'd be like, you know, people would stop scooting, and I'd be like, what the fuck would I do? You know what I mean? Like, my life is this. I can't just go to a party and drink alcohol for yeah. like every day of the week. You know that doesn't it doesn't happen like that. I'm not going to go to the mall and like walk around. That doesn't seem like something I do. Bless this, you. Like, scootering itself just is me. I, I can't say it any other way. It just makes sense. Yeah, even if it's like the times when you aren't doing it, it's just, fuck, it's so, we're so fortunate to have something to fall back on. It's just, but, I, oh. man, I can't imagine. There's so many people out there that just don't have that. So that's one right? thing. It's like if you ride and you ever feel bummed on it, it's like you have something that a lot of people don't have yeah, um, dude, that makes life. That the f- Living, man. Truth. yeah it's just that's everything i could have said you just were put into words elegantly and i just that's it hell yeah i love that 
even just a little off top and not off topic, but, uh, just like even outside scooter related, like I came to Texas because I knew Austin and I met Austin at Woodward through scootering and then through living in Austin, like got a job out here, met somebody in that job who got me a job I'm really stoked on. And that was all yeah, for dude. me following a, a good friend of Texas and dude, fucking making it happen. It's fucking, it's so beyond wild. Cause dude, it comes down to like everything that I do and everything that I currently am doing in my life is here because I picked up a scooter. Like when I was fucking 11 years old. Yeah. Everything that I now enjoy and do like literally every single aspect of my life without fail, there is not one single percent of my life that I do because I, that doesn't like somehow relate to scooter. Yeah. Yeah. And dude, it also like just doing something that makes you uncomfortable leads to comfort more. And I think that's also another slight point that could be made, but scootering. Shout out scootering, baby. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Turn four. Even the things like I do that don't involve scootering have scootering roots sometimes. It's funny to me. Yep. Like the it's niche wild, inside right? of the niche like circles back <laughs> yeah, around. Dude. It's fucking like an Easter egg, dude. It's like, okay, yeah. like I do this. Oh wait, but this is scootering somehow. Yeah. Dude, this is, I would uh we I don't think we've talked about this on the podcast, but your niche within a niche of the Sovs and finding a scooter Easter egg within the sovereignty <laughs> yeah. community. Yeah. You wanna talk about oh, that? Yeah, I found like a good a good like three scooter riders for sure, just randomly who I was following. And then randomly, uh, I would just find out through talking to them or saying something. They're like, oh, no way. Like, you ride? I'm like, yeah. Like, what? It's fucking crazy. Sometimes I would post scooter clips on my story, though, like of my my weed account. People are like, oh, shit. But yeah, shout out to homie, Caden Buley. <laughs> that shit was crazy to me. I, I talk to him, like, multiple times a week now just because I'm like, oh, shit, like, on the sob, the sob community. Yeah, did we lose say Steve's? Something or I will. I think I think he froze out. Look at him frozen on the screen. Damn, <laughs> looks like ten four exclusive. We'll never know who influenced him as a writer, or uh, who he thinks has the biggest schnoz. Oh, breaking Yo, news! Guys. He's back, Yo, guys. My hotspot phone fucking died. No, it's funny because I was like, I was like, fuck this, that, that won't happen, right? That won't fucking happen. And sure enough, it fucking happened. And it's it, when it like, cause dude, it was funny. Like I was listening, and then it just, yeah, you froze nothing. up on our screen too. Gotcha. Well, guys, I'm here. So wait, what were you talking about? Like Easter eggs? A lot of oh, Easter yeah. eggs. A lot of uh, hidden, hidden Easter eggs in the sovereignty scooter community. In the Clash Royale scooter community. Oh, dude, dude, it's just, that's valid. Do you still play? Yeah, dude, I haven't played in the Here fucking. There. I don't play like daily, but yeah. a couple, maybe one, two times a week. I'll like be like, "Oh shit, I got a cool second. Let me like bust open." Dude, it's Some funny because I played that game. Because when I was in high school, like, I had, like, two hours before and after school to play that game. Dude, like, it's now strange. I have very little time to myself. And, like, you know what I mean? Right. And all the time that I do have to myself, I should be doing A and B and not playing, like, not a quick clashing. game. And, dude, I, it's, like, weird because, like, I would, like, I tried to after, like, a month. But, dude, it was wild because I almost felt myself not understanding how to play the game. Because, dude, like. When I when I like knew. didn't when I like was still playing I like knew like when to drop this when to drop this when I started playing I would just sense myself clicking and spamming like the 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 fucking like the technique was gone like I I feel yeah. like and then that kind of like discouraged me because I was like okay like well if I don't really know how to play the game what's the fucking point I keep losing because I'm not playing the game right and then it was like at that point why am I playing the fucking game trophies are plummeting. Yeah. yeah, dude. You want to end your career on a high note. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, well, that. the last question in our chain of Phil is uh, who influenced you as a rider? As a rider? Dude, um, fuck. Um, I, 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 it's funny, like, I'll do certain tricks because I know certain tricks, like, I can do. 
but I'll like see tricks on like videos or Instagram and I'll be like, whoa, like that's sick. One that I can re- remember, uh, Austin Coates in the latest Aztec falling. He, I think it was like posted to Instagram, but it's like this fucking like steep rail and he's like on this platform and it's like a curved board slide and he jumps and just fucking rides the curve and it's like, like a story and a half handrail and he's just like in the board slide as if it's like, it's just so perfect. Like he curves through the board slide and it's just perfect. That I fucking love board slides. I love being able to like maneuver in a way that you can't do in a 50 and you could like, it just makes sense. Um, yeah. It looks way better too. Long 50 yeah. 50s look so just blown out and gross. It's such a like a, you get into the 50 and then you balance a board slide. You dude. Oh my god! It's just so like it's harder. It just it's, it it's looks so good, much harder. Like, it, it looks just, it just looks better. And dude, you can do like a million different like you can do a board slide a thousand different ways and land differently a thousand different ways. But a fifty, if you land it good, it's the same throughout the entire. What are you gonna do? Wiggle right, and the other time you wiggle <laughs> left on that part. You know what I mean? But dude, yeah. So I'll take inspo from like a few clips here and there. I mostly I mostly take inspiration uh filming and editing wise like if I like because I watched I watched a skate video that's like it's a full length located near me I'd say like Fullerton like Orange County area for sure bro because all those spots like I ride and the way that the skateboarders they fucking the way they thought about the spot the way they attacked it with the tricks that they tried I had like never even thought about doing that before like I would not think about that. And the way that it was filmed was so precisely and done. And the way that he like kind of maneuvered the camera in such a way that matched the skateboarder style, but also matched the spot. It was just so fucking perfect. And I think that like that inspires me. Like the way that I can match and the way that I can express somebody's trick on a spot that also deserves expression and make combine everything into something that is viewable consumable as a form of media yeah i think i i think i take a lot of inspiration from building and editing more so than scootering i'd say because dude like i scooter like myself i like scootering this way and i know it feels good i know what i like to do and i know of course like you know i totally relate yeah. man i get it i feel like i definitely don't man i don't i I guess I definitely do get inspiration from other writers, but I don't think about it as much as I think of like how I want to edit a video or how I want a video to look, uh, how it's filmed. That's, I think about that way more than I do. It just, just tricks and style. Like I'm never writing like, you're right. Just, I'm never like, I want this to look like fucking Lucas or I don't know. Yeah. Right. Like I want to do this trick in my own way. And I think that's because. I don't. (laughs) (laughs) This kick Um, is. Kick is kicking me. I do want Mark Hickles combos, but that's conversation too, for another day. Me dude. too. Me too. Me too. But moving on, yeah. I'm gonna film a. I'm gonna film a <laughs> gnarly. That under the road. I'm gonna, I'm gonna film a gnarly back 180 kick list down a set, dude. Just watch. I so. I did a kick list down a three block at that's a skate cool. park, and I like stuck it. And ever since then, I've been saying I want a kick list down a set as the clip, like as an intro. Yeah. And I still have yet to do one. Three sixty kick list can... would look so player. Sorry, but dude. <laughs> buzz down. So, uh, um, what was I fucking talking about? Filming and adding inspiration. I think it's because, um, well, dude, we've been scootering way longer than we've been filming and editing. Like we, yeah. know, we're confident in our abilities to scooter like ourselves. I'm not confident in my abilities to film like myself. I'm still trying to understand filming and editing. I'm still trying to find myself in that realm. And I think that's why I still take it. inspiration. Because when I was younger, fuck yeah, I took inspiration. I really liked the way Ralph popped when he did a lot of the scooter tricks. I really liked the way that Isaac fucking leaned with it and rocked with it. and wasn't super comfortable, but the way that he was comfortable and being uncomfortable. The way that he did that, yeah. that's what I took inspo from. The way that certain riders presented themselves in their scootering, that I used to take a lot of inspo from that. And a lot of people used to have a lot of different styles that I really saw and picked up on, and that's what I truly enjoyed. It's applying that. But no, you know, I want a scooter like myself because I'm well equipped. But filming and editing, I cannot say the same. So, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I like that. Um, well, Austin, you got any other questions? Oh, damn! On the spot, honestly, I don't. But I wish I did. 
It's all good. We've got a solid two hours. No yeah. fucking on the shot. Spot. Yeah. Oh yeah, huh? It's been two fucking hours. Yeah. I guess that would make sense. Time flies. I'm so Nathan something phantom. Nathan Gur Phantom. Nathan Gur Phantom. Phasing out. And I honestly would not be surprised. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Okay, you're back. (laughs) Nathan Gur Phantom. Phasing the realities. You seen it here first on 10 4. Oh, my phone just Coolest. fell off. Hey, hi, hi, just hit the gritty for him. Yeah, you want to close it out with a mean gritty? Can you do one better than Sorensen? Definitely. It's a fucking weak ass gritty. Can you hear this knife jingle jangling throughout this or no? Yo. No, perfect. Yeah. Well, maybe you hear that one. You. What the fuck is up, guys? What the, the fuck, fuck is, is up? up? <laughs> yeah, I want this gritty more than ever. I can't lie. I want it with the glitch. <laughs> Should we just text him? You guys hear me? Yeah, but you're you guys hear me? yes. Now he can. Oh, thank God! Oh, uh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I told you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just hit the gritty to close Stop. it out. Hit the just start Stop. hitting, start hitting the gritty, and it might be a laggy gritty, and we can just close it out gritty? on that one. A laggy yeah. grid, a laggy gritty. Do a back yeah, back you up. Want to see me, you guys want to see me go upside down? Wait, yeah. can I go upside down? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I gotta make sure I'm not gonna die or anything. I probably. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh. <laughs> You good? Yeah, I'm straight. Right, okay. <laughs> what just happened? That was crazy. Oh, okay. shit. Oh, dude. Yeah, so fucked like up. I guess, I guess you'll never see my phone. Yeah. It'll just be me, like, standing and then... I mean, with the connection, that's kind of what it looked like. So. Probably, yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I would not doubt it for a second. That was Man. so funny. Well, uh getting pretty late i'm honestly i'm down to to call it because i really enjoy what we discovered yeah. and discussed yeah man and discovered. honestly yeah dude i'm with it fuck, fuck yeah, yeah bro well enjoyable time talking um episode 29 maybe 30 something if you so made it this the far last one in that pod 29 so i hope this one's 30 30 10 4 if you made it Louise. this far thank you Episode Steve's Louise, Nathan Trelore. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming.